Okay, let's talk about homeschooling math and specifically how to get started homeschooling mathematics. So I'm going to give you some tips here, some advice. So it would be uh, helpful to you um, to know who I am, right? <laughs> you certainly don't want to just take advice from anyone. So let me tell you uh, briefly who I am. I am. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. We provide a homeschool curriculum. Been doing so for uh, many years, well over a decade. Uh, and been uh, highly successful in uh, middle and high school um, homeschooling uh, curriculum. Uh, we've got a great uh, amount of courses to, you know, basically choose from. Middle and high school is our focus. We don't do elementary math. But if you're uh, looking for any of those type of courses, I'm going to leave the link to our program in the description of this video. But I wanted to tell you um, a little bit about who I am. And by the way, I'm a middle and high school math teacher and a parent. I've been doing this for a long, long time um, and had a chance to work with homeschoolers at every state of all types, all types of situations, working closely with homeschoolers for many, many years. So it puts me kind of a unique position to um, you know, listen to people's stories, you know, what experiences they've had. Uh, and, uh, you know, I've gotten really smart because I've been, I've been kind of like a uh, an able to work with here I am and I'm working with just all types of homeschooling families new homeschoolers people who have been homeschooling for 30 years just all types of stuff people have used this type of curriculum that type of curriculum or this type of philosophy etc and so all through those years I've kind of identified kind of some major lessons learned or trends and I kind of want to share those with you in terms of just homeschooling math uh, and things to think about uh, whether you're an experienced homeschooler or new to homeschooling. Okay, so I think this will really uh, help you. Again, this is my uh, opinion, but it's kind of, you know, an informed opinion and, a, and an expert opinion. And I kind of use that term expert, you know, don't, you know, I'm certainly not the end all be all, but I think it's going to be beneficial to you. Uh, so let me go ahead and get right into these tips for things that you want to think about. Okay, so the first one is you got to think for yourself. Okay, so what I mean by that? Well, uh, in homeschooling, it tends to be kind of uh, somewhat of a, there's a lot of people get caught up in kind of group think. They'll, they'll kind of like, they don't know what to do, so they'll talk to their friend over here that's homeschooling, and they're saying, we're doing it this way, or they'll go to their homeschool group, and they say, well, we're doing homeschooling this way. Um, and so a lot of people just kind of just do what other people kind of do, or they'll try something because someone else it would, was successful with it. And I can understand that because if you don't really have a frame of reference, a lot of experience, you know, you can easily just kind of say, hey, listen, other people are having success with this program, so I'm going to do this for myself. But that's doesn't work out for a lot of people. That's kind of a gamble, okay? And it's easy to, um, you know, basically get caught up in like, well, I'm not sure what to do, so I'm just going to do what these other people are doing. Listen, you have to be an independent thinker when you homeschool, okay? Like, don't just go with something because other people, it's working for, for uh, one family or one group, okay? Consider your full options and really think about what's best for you, yourself and your family, okay? You're going to have to be really selective in terms of, like, what's best for us because what works for one family and or one group doesn't may not work for you and there's so many different type of ways to homeschool math online programs homeschool groups there's just a, a lot of variety of, of ways and there's kind of popular ways of, of, do, of doing it but there's more options these days and they're going to have to filter through that okay now I can't tell you you know what um, exactly hey um, what I'm going to give you some tips here that will help you, you know, uh, consider different things. But what, but basically, if you're going to homeschool, you got to become an independent thinker. Just don't outsource your decision making to, to say, well, I'm going to do it, do it this way because other people are doing it that way. That doesn't work out for people. Okay. Um, so, with that being said, I think I've made my point. Really make decisions for yourself. Okay. What's well, my next point here? Well, try before you buy. This is kind of like my motto with tablet class math, is there's no reason to um, fully commit to a program without even testing it, okay? You know, like sample the program. Uh, in, in this day and age, um, with homeschooling uh, mathematics, for example, you can you should be able to uh, do some you know free lessons or, or something, sample it, and now who should sample that program? Well, basically, there's two uh, 
uh, customers when you're homeschooling. Like, what, are you, what are you talking about? Well, there's the parent and then there's the child. Okay, you sample the program for yourself. Does it meet the, you know, the, the standards that you want? Is it a strong education? Are you comfortable with uh, the management of the program? You know, et cetera, et cetera. And then once you've done that, you should then let your child test it. Now, hey, do they like the way the instruction is being taught? Because if your child doesn't like that program, you're going to have a tough time forcing that on them, okay? Because uh, it, it's just not going to work, okay? So you, you're going to have to find a compromise for you like the program and your child likes the program. So again, you have to think for yourself and what works. One family may not work for you because everyone's situation is different. So, but again, there's no need to purchase a, a, a full program. Um, if you know if that's what it requires, you have to like spend a lot of money to get a program and then you get fully invested in it before you know that's that's a big gamble, okay? And you just again cannot go with what other people are saying. Oh yeah, this program's great. You should get it. Make that big investment because my child is doing so great with it. You can't. That's not enough. You're going to have to see how you like it and your child likes it. Again, it's you're going to have to be an independent thinker and sample before you make a commitment. All right, let's move on to our next tip here. All right, get smart about homeschooling. So if you're gonna become a homeschooler, you wanna get smart about it. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, every state is different, okay? And, and by the way, we work with homeschoolers in different countries as well. So every place is different, states, and maybe even counties or whatnot. So you're gonna to have to really start you know, learning about homeschooling, what's legally required of you, uh, what kind of documentation, how do you create transcripts, how do you record all this, how do you get your diplomas, etc. testing, what testing's required. So again, every state is different. You're gonna to have to get smart on it and really, you know, just kind of get immersed in the homeschooling world. And um, that's also going to be very helpful in terms of like finding curriculum. Okay, so just learning about it, reading about it. There's a lot of reviews out there. And I mean, again, uh, not to be biased by anything, but you're going to have to get really well informed on your, on your curriculum options, what people think about it. Then you can go do your own, you know, sampling of things, and so you can kind of always be ahead of the curve um, to really kind of have a plan for for homeschooling long range. So it's not about let's say you're starting homeschool now. But what are you going to be doing next year? Maybe your child's in sixth grade. What what do you, what math are you, are you going to be doing at the seventh grade level? Okay, what curriculum? You know, what happens if something doesn't work out for you? What are you going to do then? The more you know about homeschooling in general and curriculum options and just different things, the better um, decisions you'll make. Okay, so just don't get a program, homeschool, and then call it a day. If you're going to homeschool, I would think long range, and especially with everything going on right now, so a lot of people are going to be uh, homeschooling for the long term. And I could tell you right now, it absolutely can work out. I've seen some fantastic success stories, many, many success stories in homeschooling. But again, it's what you make of it, okay? And you have to take on that responsibility um, uh, as the parent, right, to be like, hey, how this works out is going to be a large measure to the decisions you make. So the more you know about what you're doing, the better off you're going to be. All right, let's take a look at our last tip here, and that is be flexible. Okay, be flexible. Let's say you get a program, you try, you sample it, it looks good, your child likes it and everything else, and you start the program, and one or two, three, four months into it, it's just not working, okay? Um, be willing to change. Be willing to say, mm, okay, this isn't working, we're gonna have to make a switch. Because I've seen this throughout the uh, many years where parents will stick with or make their child kind of, you know, stick with the curriculum, because they're just convinced that it's the right thing to do and uh, they stick with it for one or two years and then and then it just the child didn't really learn that much and now they're kind of in like a desperate measures and they're trying to make it for lost time you're going to be you're going to have to be really flexible when you're homeschool now that doesn't mean that you just go curriculum hopping because that's too much change you'd be like well let's try this for a few months and i've seen that as well too like let's do this oh that's not working let's try this let's try this you're going to have to stick with something for a while to assess that uh, to assess you know how a program is working out for you that's why i say try really do your research and try something before you buy and commit to it but oftentimes well not oftentimes but there will be times where things look good every the program looks good 
and you're uh, you're you're working that program just you know the way it's designed to be worked up, but you're still not you're not getting the results that you that you wanted. So be flexible. Be be like, well, okay, let me see what else we can do. Uh, and that's why I say keep getting smart about homeschooling and thinking for yourself. Always have a plan, you know, A, B, and C because you just don't know how things kind of could turn out. All right, so let me go and wrap up this video. Again, these are like not I could I could give you more tips here for sure. Um, uh, my again, uh, hopefully you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've been on YouTube for many many years, and you can definitely see a sample, many sample hundreds of videos on uh, my the way I teach mathematics. So if you're interested in knowing more about Tabla class, uh, and I'm pretty proud of my uh, YouTube channel. Been on YouTube at the time of this video for over 12 years, and I think I have like 13 million total views and 125,000 subscribers. Those are no small achievements on YouTube. Um, you know, it takes you know, that's a, to me is a, is a vote of confidence that a lot of people like my instruction. So I hope you consider Tablet Class as an option. Uh, but even if you don't use Tablet Class, you know, I want to pass on my um, you know best advice to you to help you out in any way I can. Again, if you want to check out uh, my learning program, I'm gonna leave the link. In the description of this video, you can shoot over there and you can take a look at our courses. Hey, if you like this video, definitely appreciate a thumbs up. And give me some feedback, any feedback. Um, what's your situation? Um, are you just like made a, a decision with everything that's going on with school closures that you're, you're going to become a homeschooler? You know, how did, how is it that you you know, are interested in homeschooling or how did you make your decision? Uh, of course, any feedback is good feedback, but, you know, my intention with all my videos is to give my best advice. You know, I'm not the end-all be-all. Nobody is the end-all be-all. Um, but if I can pass on, you know, my experience, uh, you know, do, learning or teaching math for all these years, I want to empower you as a parent so you can, you know, best help yourself, your child, and your entire family. So with that being said, I want to thank you for your time and have a great day.